It's never okay to fall asleep on the job, even if you're a railroad employee on BNSF. Falling asleep in the cab of a locomotive can be deadly. And that's exactly what caused a wreck in Red Oak, Iowa, eight years ago today. On April 17, 2011, a BNSF coal train passed through McPherson Junction near the town of Red Oak, Iowa. The train had two engines in the front, SD70 Ace 9159, ES44 AC 6133, 132 loaded coal cars, and a DPU which was SD70 Ace 9226. Up ahead, parked on the main, was a maintenance away equipment train. This was led by a lone SD70 Mac 9470. 9159 East was directed to stop directly behind the maintenance away train, but instead the train proceeded through many red signals. What's even more odd is that the alerter was reset every two minutes, indicating that the crew was awake. However, they must have dozed off because they took no action to stop their train, even though they could see the tail end of the maintenance away train directly in front of them. Four minutes and 56 seconds till seven o'clock. The coal train rear-ended the back of the maintenance away train, going about 23 miles an hour. The lead unit 9159 buried itself under the flat cars, which in turn piled on top of it. Both the engineer and the conductor were killed, and the accident caused millions of dollars in damage. The NTSB determined that although the crew was awake, they were half asleep, only being aware enough to reset the alerter every two minutes, and not pay attention to what's ahead of them on the line. 9159 was repaired and put back into service, however it was renumbered 8749. The reason for this is unclear and this marks one of the only times that BNSF has renumbered one of their locomotives due to its involvement in a wreck. 6133 was also repaired, and 9226 was undamaged because it was the DPU in the back of the train, far away from the accident. Although railroaders still have odd work schedules and would like time to find a nice nap, they should probably do so while they're off duty. But it's still sad that the two crew members in the cab of 9159 during the wreck were killed because this wreck which came to be known as the BNSF 9159 incident, was entirely preventable.